Hello everyone, welcome back to Super Mario 64. Today is episode 3, Jolly Roger Bay. To get in here, you're gonna need 3 stars. Obviously, at this point we have 14, no problem at all. So, there is a secret castle star up here in this window, but obviously I'm gonna be saving those for later. So, let's get started with Jolly Roger Bay. So, first water level of the game. Swimming in this game, I have to say, controls like a, it, it controls very well for a game that came out very early on in the Nintendo 64's lifespan. By the way, to get the shell, you can just kind of press your uh, your attack button and you will just keep grabbing it. It doesn't last very long though, so yeah. But anyways, as I was saying, um, for a game that came out so early in the Nintendo 64's life, the swim controls are still very well, or they hold up very well. And for this eel, just kind of, I'm going to die now probably, no. So you want to get in the way of that eel, and then once you swim up a bit, he should come out, so I'll go all the way up and then come back down, and he should be gone by then. So yeah, you can kind of see it's open. Kept thinking that maybe he just wasn't rendered when I was uh, making sure how this all worked, but nope, just fine. So these four chests, uh, we need to hit all four of them. I guess you can't see three of them yet, but you need to hit them in a certain order. You need to hit this one in the back first, then head over here. You just kind of go in a circle from here. And this. And then you want to hit this one. And try and hit it at a good angle. Alright, there we go. And immediately start swimming back this way to try to get as high as you possibly can before the water comes down. It is possible to get to this top part. There we go. That way you don't have to jump all the way up all those platforms. If you aren't fast enough, you just have to slowly jump up here, but that's the first on Jolly Roger Bay. Not too bad. So, in this area, we'll be able to get seven, or six out of the seven stars right now. Um, it's going to be a similar situation to the wing cap in Bob on Battlefield, where we need to get a, unlock another power before we can. So the second star is, can the eel come out and play? This one, I am not the best at. I always seem to get hit by the eel. But uh, just stay above the water until you get to the ship. Now that it is floating, it's no longer sunken. It should be all the way up here for the rest of the missions in this level. So for this eel, I like to get in his way. And I always seem to get hit by him. So I'm just going to come back up. I'm not going to get the star immediately. If you stand right above him, you can get the star off of his tail immediately. Because it's just sitting on the back of the eel's tail. And you have to touch the star to get it off him. So I'm going to just swim down here and hope that I run into the star. Eel doesn't move too fast. But that doesn't make this any easier. I can feel like I'm back up to the top. Uh, it's gonna be close. Okay. I am not the best at these water levels. It's not what I'm good at. But let's see if I can actually do it. Oh, I was so close. And I... No, I might be able to do this. Where is it? There it is. I'm 
back now. I might just cut a good chunk of this out. That, that should have been it. There we go. Finally! Once you touch the star, it'll come off the eel's tail and go right underneath where he rests. And all you gotta do is swim in. into it. Here we go! I can never talk. Alright, so that is the second star of that area. Third star should be red coins? Oh, no, treasure the ocean gate. So, uh, a lot of people recommend that you do the 100 coins on this mission. I'm still going to do it on the red coin mission just because I'm going to have to pick up those coins anyway. But I will have to go a little bit out of my way for the red coin mission because um, we're going to... I think the main reason a lot of people do... Okay. Uh, I think the main reason a lot of people do 100 coins now is because you have to go all the way to the treasure cave anyways to get a hundred coins, but I'll come all the way down here and then just grab some coins for the hundred coin mission. So, all you gotta do for the treasure cave is swim all the way down to the bottom and go into this cave. It is a pretty simple find. Come up top. And just run through this cave. There's all these pillars that are gonna fall down, so just quick. Do a couple long jumps and dive jumps or something and then still get hit. And then these four chests just like in the underwater ship, they have an order. This one first. Okay, I got that one. Okay. So this one first, and then this one, and then across over here, then this one. And then the star will spawn right here. And there we go. Here we go! That was not the easiest star in the area. Uh, I would say that the last one we'll be doing today is going to be the easiest one, but also a pretty simple star. A lot of these early levels are obviously going to have fairly simple stars for the most part, and then they'll just get harder. And harder. So, uh, red coins on the ship afloat. This is where we'll be doing the 100 coin mission. So we'll start out by getting these right here. And actually, I have already messed up. Uh, you can get three coins at this very starting area. There is a box over here that has some. So grab those. Very helpful. And I just tried to change the camera like this was awkward enough time. Uh, then there's going to be red coins in a lot of these clam shells, but I'm not going to get them yet. I'll get the red coins later. So... all these couple coin rings down in the water. It's mainly just this one, the one we got earlier, and then if you swim down, there's unfortunately only the red coin right there, and then the coin ring over here, and that's it for coins down here. But we're at least making good progress on the coins. This is probably the most annoying ring to get, by the way. Because you have to swim vertically, and then a one-up will spawn over here. I always have a hard time getting this one up. It's hard to tell, but uh, one-ups are kind of useless in this game anyways, so it doesn't really matter. So with this area, I like to get rid of all the pillars before I start to do anything, even though you don't even need to come all the way over to this part. Or I guess I forgot about this point right here. So grab those. No, no, no more over here. Uh, but there is three of those, I believe. Yes. Three. Um, you can probably see the blue point switch over there. I'll be grabbing that in a moment. Yeah. So Alright, there we go. 
get all of those. I think that was 30, maybe 35 uh, coins altogether. So we're up to 68. And now we're gonna go ahead and start grabbing red coins. So our first red coin that we're gonna grab is gonna be this one right here. Talk to this yeah. bomb right here, yeah. and he'll open the cannon. We'll be needing that for the next star. And on top of this, another red coin. That's five. And then five more coins right here. Um, there's some bricks right here. I'm just gonna kind of ignore them. Hitting that switch will just put some bridges along here, but you'll still have to actually walk across these quite a bit. But you need it for the coins anyway, so yeah. And then do a jump and kick. 98. And then we still have three more red coins on the ship. So get that. And there is the 100 coin star. Here we go! Save the game. And come over here. And your last one. And then the star will spawn right here at the back of the ship. Ray, another red coin. Or 100 coin mission down. Here we go! Only 12 more of those to go. Alright, next up will be the last star for today, and it is the stone pillar. Uh, the one down in the ocean, next to the eel, you just can't get yet, that's the one you need the power for. But the stone pillar, very simple star. Just get into the cannon, obviously I can't. And then you want to aim for this far left pillar. You want to get the last triangle to be kind of at that very top part, and just come over here, jump on, and in this box, you have your star. And that is star number 20. Here we go. That is every star you can get in Jolly Roger Bay for right now. We'll come back and get the last one a little later, probably around the... something star mark maybe but anyway that's gonna do it for today on super mario 64 next time we'll take on coco mountain see you then